Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And I'm be showcasing the importance of slide canceling. And I'm also going to showcase how you guys can perform this maneuver in Modern Warfare. But before I do that, I need to show you guys my current settings because this is going to be very important when you guys go into a private match and practice the slide cancel. Now in Modern Warfare, I'm running the tactical button layout. This is important that you guys are running the tactical button layout if you guys want to perform the slide cancel because it's going to change your crouch button to the right thumbstick instead of having it be on the B button. This is necessary. You are not able to perform the slide cancel effectively without running the tactical button layout. Now for my dead zone setting, I have it on a 0.07 that's going to be fine-tuned to my specific controller and the wear and tear that it does have i'm also going to be running a four horizontal stick sensitivity as well as a four vertical stick sensitivity and a 0.75 low zoom and a 0.75 high zoom sensitivity these are my settings that i do run in game when i am playing modern warfare when I'm using submachine guns, assault rifles, snipers, this is a universal sensitivity that I am comfortable with and I think you guys will definitely be comfortable with when playing this game. Now, if you guys want to see more best settings, tutorials, tips and tricks, best class setups, or any more gameplay breakdowns where I analyze my gameplay or break down your gameplay, make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. And then finally, let me know down in the comment section right now, what are your current sensitivity settings that you guys are running in this game? With all being said, let's get right into the gameplay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and explain how you guys can perform a slide cancel here in Modern Warfare. I'm running dual wield fucking akembo pistols, man. Or dual wield shotguns. You guys are trash. I got a VTOL jack. Shot in the back. This nigga drone has been sitting so good. Enemy at the bomber shot. He's just sitting in the spot. Like, nigga is fucking weird. Friendly UAV online. Losing C. Like, they got you Oh, get shitted on. Melted. I just bodied all four of those kids. Woo! I might get another one. I'm trying to hit him at A or at B. Oh shit, yo, you're a fucking legend, thank you. Hold on, I'm about to get her fucking advanced again. Oh my god, I'm still not coming. Might get another one. There we go, there you go! I got another one. Go crazy, go crazy. I'm gonna push this shit. Holy oh, shit. Hey, bro, I'm going crazy too. I'm gonna get a nuke. I'm gonna get. Hey, let me hit the Messi. I'm gonna get a nuke. My 22. The fuck are they, bro? I'm gonna run out of time. That's a bitch. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm at 23. Oh, get shitted on! Oh my god, I'm at 24. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna run out of time. Fuck, bro. Oh my god. 
Fuck, dude. I was on a 24, bro. I went crazy. Damn it. That was a good one. That was a good streak. All right, so I'm gonna be showcasing the importance of slide canceling and how you guys can actually perform this maneuver here in Modern Warfare. If you guys are rushers, you guys like using SMGs, you guys like getting into the enemy spawn and running and gunning, this is gonna be a maneuver and a technique that I want you guys to practice immediately in a private match and master it. I do this in 99% of my gameplays and it allows me to throw off the enemy's aim assist and win more gunfights, especially at close range. Now I'm gonna be doing my best to kind of showcase how you guys can practice and master this maneuver as quickly as possible. Now the first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to jump into a private match and put it on speedball and play against three bots. You don't want to play against any more bots because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to take on four or five enemies at the same time if you guys are starting off in completely alien to this maneuver. Now, what essentially slide canceling is, is coming out of a double sprint and ADSing as soon as possible and pretty much throwing off your enemy's aim assist. Now, what this does is it pretty much renders your character at a three stance position. It's either your character is gonna be looking like they're standing up in a crouch position or in a prone position. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rewind the gameplay right now. This is what it looks like when you guys are performing it properly. You guys can see here, whenever I'm getting shot at by multiple enemies, my character model is all over the place. I can guarantee you from the bot perspective, my character was in the crouch, the prone, as well as the standing position, and it's gonna be a fantastic way to throw off your enemies. Now, as far as the button layout and what you guys should be running to kind of practice this the best way possible, if you guys are not running the tactical button layout, I highly recommend you guys going ahead and switching to the tactical button layout immediately. The reason why you want to switch to a tactical button layout is right here. Boom. Pretty much showcasing how effective this is at close range. Now what the tactical button layout is, is it allows you to crouch and prone by pressing down on your right thumbstick instead of using the B button. This is how I'm able to be so mobile and so agile whenever I'm running and gunning. If you guys are not running on tactical, it's gonna be very difficult for you guys to master this because you're gonna essentially have to take your thumb off of kind of the aim button and you're gonna have to put that on B and then right back. But instead, I never have to do that. It's gonna be one seamless motion and it's gonna be very fluid and very fast. And most importantly, you're gonna maintain your accuracy, especially when you guys are sliding. Now, I'm still running a 4-4 sensitivity setting. This is probably why some of you guys think I have a higher sensitivity. Whenever I'm actually performing the slide cancel, my screen, my game looks like I'm moving at a 10-10 sensitivity. But I assure you, I'm running on a 4-4 sensitivity setting. It's just the way that the screen looks when I'm performing a slide cancel it really does throw off your enemy's kind of mindset and throw off their aim assist. Now, again, whenever you guys are also trying to practice this slide cancel maneuver, I recommend you guys going ahead and using a submachine gun, specifically the MP5 with the no stock attachment. This allows you to have increased movement speed. This is exactly why whenever I can run a no stock attachment, I am running it. I'm always taking off the no stock because I'm more mobile and I'm able to perform this slide cancel a lot easier and a lot faster. Now you guys can see here, completely slid out the way, help of the no stock and snap aimed on that guy. It's really helpful that you guys are kinda, kinda coupling and using you know techniques and using button layouts and using attachments in tandem. It's gonna really help you guys out when trying to perform this technique. Like I said, when you guys are performing a slide cancel, come off of a double sprint you guys want to aim down sight you guys want to make sure you guys are running on the tactical button layout and you guys don't want to make sure you're practicing this using a submachine and again that's going to be another good showcase right there going to rewind the gameplay you're going to want to make sure you guys are using a submachine gun with a no stock attachment and you're going to want to make sure you guys are running a sensitivity setting that is most comfortable for you right there slid 
slide cancel there we go it's going to be very fast and very easy to perform this when you guys are all running the right settings with the right attachments that's kind of like my whole motto of my channel you guys want to make sure you guys are running things that are working and kind of complementing each other together so you guys can you know effectively utilize all of the you know advantages is or advantages <laughs> advantages um at your disposal now again like i said this is something you guys are going to want to go ahead and practice in a private match before you guys jump into a multiplayer game this is something that i am doing constantly like i said in 99 percent of my gameplays and it really does help out when you guys are trying to get into close range medium range and honestly it allows you to get out of long range engagements that you might get shot at because you guys can see i'm able to kind of get out of situations that i normally would not be able to if i was not running you know tactical or utilizing the slide cancel so with all being said make sure you guys like i said jump into a private match put on a submachine gun with a no stock attachment run the tactical button layout do not run double time because you don't really have to run double time when going ahead and trying to perform a slide cancel you can use this running whatever you want and you know just shoot some bots and then jump back into a public match and to see how you guys stand it's going to take a couple of days to fully master this but once you do you're going to be able to absolutely fry in lobbies if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more of these kind of advanced maneuvers these tips where kind of you kind of have to have a little bit of gun skill to kind of master make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications if you made it this far into the video odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and i cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support if you guys are unaware every single night at 11 45 p.m central time and also every single morning at 11 15 a.m central time I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with twitch prime or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces